Wow, what a find we have here. A gorgeous flat top chest. Here we are at the cedar chest, and that's not what that is. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to another of the Hawaiian Shirt Papa's tours. This one is of the Cedar Chest Thrift Store in Cambridge. They have some really lovely china sets that they've grouped and kept them as a group with a set price. Here's what this particular set has in it. Um, that's a pretty good set. Here's a different set that they had kept as, as a group. Also a very nice one. Either as a everyday or a, one of your nicer sets. Yours, yours to choose. They didn't have a list of all, all the parts. I was a little disappointed in this considering there are three pieces missing. Two pawns and uh, that. 15 is an okay price, but it would have been better if it had all the bits and pieces. And there is another set. Now this one's a, a little higher end in that it's mint and gray mist. That's a pretty good price for what it is. Not much meat in it for me, but that's another story. And here's that chest. Again, it had uh, it's a pretty good price, but there's no meat left in it for me, in there, as they say. This is the inside of the one of the showcases. Now we're into the little statuary and cups and saucers and mugs. We're into the other candle holders. Look, the little, little coco belly was over there. And then we look at the other hard goods. And we're off to other parts of the store. I'll come back to these shoes a bit later as I actually did get one, some for, for myself. These are the women's ones as it is. We're into the area of furniture. Pretty good stuff there. Uh, not particularly a lot of vintages, some. And some of the other hard goods are also displayed there. Most of these are a little more contemporary, although of an older style. Some, some items that look like they came from an office, but they're still very, very usable and probably better quality than the low-end ones that you might pick up elsewhere. Now this thing I thought initially was a table here. So I'm looking at the back, but it's not got legs. Well, that only left one thing. The top is actually something that opens, and now it became familiar to me as something from a conference room or a meeting room. It's a white board with cork boards on the side. That's an okay deal. I mean, it just, they're not commonly um, used in a home. <laughs> Could be, but they aren't. These are the children's and there's the men's picked up those uh, a pair of sandals there for myself I needed a pair and these are I think those were the DVDs and VHS some other furniture there and a pretty good selection for books and there's they go down a few sections Another look uh, there as well. We're looking at the men's clothes. No, those are women's. Those are scarves. 
let's go back to the men's. And here we are. Uh, we're going to look for our usual Hawaiian shirts. This one is uh, a prospect made in China. So it's, so I think that was a Paragon. It's one of the smaller sizes. It would have been okay for someone who's petite, male or female. It could have worked. I have a shirt just like that, but it doesn't have the Walt Disney brand stick and label inside. It was an okay price. I just don't need two of the same shirt. <laughs> I don't have the Walt Disney version, though. I'm double checking. These are actually women's, and I don't know why I was checking this dress. Oh. It still had the original la label, but they put their own price tag over the original price tag. I was actually over here looking at, at the bags and purses. Nothing that grabbed my eye there. Some other items of there. Some more children's shoes. And some belts. Neckties and other accessories. Now we're into the glassware stemmed and otherwise some of them are just for decorations some of them are actually quite practical small appliances Pots and pans, and still some serving pieces. Uh, some light fixtures and f lamps. Some other decor, and some more. There's a cocktail shaker there, and a sewing machine, even. There's the DVDs and the VHS. I come back to that in a moment. Came back to that. This is a f f mid century style. I'm not sure when it was actually made. Somebody did a, an interesting cover painting on the, on the uh, tabletop. It was a children's table all along. <clears throat> Pillows, other fabrics, sheets, towels other kinds of bottles and more of the small appliances and stereo equipment speakers in this case I think there was a whole system there's some more of the stereos and loudspeaker systems <coughs> mugs some of the furniture some more ch shoes they had them in a, more than one location. It caught me off guard that way. It's okay, because it just keeps you move, uh, moving around. And there you saw a little more of the furniture, and these were some of the other items that they had on the shelves. At some point, we'll be going over to see the showcase area at the front of the store. There was a sled there. Not a toboggan, it was a sleigh. Uh, these are some of the in, uh, more valuable items that they have. They're keeping them closer to the to the front of the store. Whether they, they they must be something like a designer or something. Uh, this is where the uh, chess set was located. I showed you that earlier. Silver plate at best. And we're back over to look at the costume jewelry and other accessories there. <clears throat> There's quite a, few, quite a bit, quite a bit. It's a large, nice store. And here we are, the men's shoes. And we're doing the other side. Oh, now we're getting to the handbags. These were an interesting situation. Um, 
some prospects. Mm, Old Navy, no, I don't think so. Some of the others, couldn't find a brand name. Uh, often they look like leather, but they're vinyl. So I wasn't interested in that. Sometimes you have to go inside to find out the detail you want. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Sometimes it doesn't take so long. Uh, this one looked like it was trying to be an inferior copy of a brand name. Looked up the brand names like that and the, yeah, the brand name was good, but not when it's not the real thing. It looks like the real thing. It doesn't have the quality of the real thing. And there were so nice looking bags. I mean, I don't, I don't usually go for them, but I've been following uh, another YouTuber who, who does quite well with uh, thrift shop purses. Mind you, he's going into places where they have these kind of higher end purses that he's looking for. And he's built up an audience to be able to sell them. Anyway, um, Getting close to the end here. We're trying to fumble through and find out what the heck is the brand name of that one. And we're on to the next one. And we're almost done. Well, that's about it right there. I'm hoping you'll enjoy this one and uh, consider subscribing, giving us a like, giving us a thumbs up. And perhaps even uh, mark on the bell so you'll know about the next one. I try to do these approximately Monday to Friday with uh, Saturday and Sundays possibly for a uh, yard sale visit somewhere or a market that can't that isn't open. Bye-bye. <laughs>